you gotta sanitize them hands from the crusty people and germs in your school. another video in my back to school series. Today's video was actually voted number one to be seen today on my Twitter. So make sure you follow my Twitter to be able to participate in polls and give me your input and interact with me. I love interacting with you guys on social media. But today I'm showing you guys a back to school emergency slash essentials kit. You are going to see everything that I think you need for school, everything that I like to carry with me in school. It is up to you. You could keep this in your locker. You could keep it in your purse. You could keep it in your car if you drive to school. Holla, I'm a senior now, so I'm now driving to school. Also, keep your eye out for a car tour. Wink, wink. I can't wink. Okay. This is just stuff that I love having on me. And having all this stuff on you will really take your stress away. If any emergency happens during school, you got this kit. This kit is here for you, girl, and so am I. So let's just dive right in. I'm just gonna reach in and pull out whatever I see. So first things first is chapstick. I don't know about you, but whenever my lips are chapped, I usually always put lipstick on in the morning, but you know, you never know. It might be a late day, and actually I'm planning on showing you guys my school makeup routine that I did all year that takes me five to ten minutes in a rush out the door you got it usually if I'm in a rush and I don't have time to like grab a quick like lipstick or tinted lip balm I will throw it in my purse before I run out the door but sometimes we all have those days where we just completely forget so you gotta have chapstick on hand just in case because I cannot go the whole day without chapstick because I will just freak out it's all I can think about when I don't have chapstick on I'm like oh my god my lips are so dry I need chapstick but your girl got you okay next item this also comes in so much handy especially when you're running late because nobody got time to put on perfume okay now just a disclaimer because you know I always keep it real with you guys this is being sponsored by them but I stand by this brand 100% and I have been getting scentbird myself for quite a while probably over a year by now I've mentioned them in plenty of videos before and honestly they are bomb. They are a monthly perfume subscription service and you get to pick from so many different brands. I will have a coupon code and more information linked down below for you. But every month you could pick a new perfume. They have so many high-end brands. I got my scent in Prada's candy. It just smells so good. I'm just gonna ugh, just kind of spray that in my mouth. Let's just that but honestly this is so affordable and I like it way better than actually buying perfumes I don't think I'll ever buy like an actual perfume again this is a month's worth of perfume and if you're the type of person that likes to switch up your scent this is absolutely perfect high-end perfumes at a great price and you get this cute little travel case and here's the actual perfume and you just slip it in and close it and it's super sleek and also this velvet bag I love having it because whenever I need perfume I always use this after gym last year I would just feel for the velvet bag just spray it really quickly and you're out the door I 100% recommend Scentbird and definitely check them out again coupon codes and things like that will be down below for you all okay next this kind of goes along with chapstick but this is a Burt's Bees lipstick and yes I do want to do swatches on these I recommend maybe instead of a chapstick or you could bring both I know there's a lot of stuff in here but I wanted to show you a bunch of stuff and then you could pick and choose for your needs this is a lipstick but but it feels just like a chapstick. As you may know, Burt's Bees is really known for their amazing chapsticks. They're a very natural brand, and these are pigmented, moisturizing. I would just recommend a quick nude kind of sheer lipstick or a tinted lip balm or something like that just to give you a flush of color and moisture at the same time and that would match every single outfit. Next, come on, tampons, panty liners, or pads if that is your preference. This right here, 
a panty liner. I think I'm gonna like redo my period videos because they're super old and I kind of want to put more inputs and like recreate them and throwback. I actually called myself Courtney in my last period videos. If you remember that, you're the real MVP. Long story short, my name's Unique. I used to use an old name, but anyway. Whenever I know that my period's going to come, I always wear a panty liner. This, if something comes, it protects your underwear, your beautiful Victoria's Secret underwear, or your regular period underwear, whatever it is, nobody wants to be in public with some period underwear and just it's a mess and it's a disaster. So panty liners are girl's best friend. I always double up. I use a tampon and a panty liner at the same time because tampons do leak sometimes. You can never have too many of these. They are a lifesaver. Next are hair ties and bobby pins. These are a necessity. Sometimes I like to put my hair in a ponytail or a bun. I remember one time I wore a bun to school and I didn't have extra bobby pins and it was just never again. You never know, sometimes maybe you'll put your hair down and you'll just want it out of your face and need a hair tie. Bobby pins, they're just always just a must. And you never know, so I definitely recommend to have these in your emergency kit. Going along with periods before, um, I would recommend getting a few packs of these to go, like Advil's, this is a leave. If you get bad cramps, this is a necessity. They also have like little tubes of Advil and stuff and always just keep it hidden because because you could get in trouble for taking it in school. I don't even know. I guess people don't really understand cramps. But this is always handy. Or you never know. Maybe you'll come to school and have a killer headache. So this is always good to have. For oral hygiene, I have some gum. I always love having gum on me. And also, this is a little brush thing. I got this like free from CVS. I don't even know. These are amazing for braces. If you have braces, get proxy brushes. I use them all the time when I used to have braces. Especially in school, stuff gets stuck all up in your teeth. These are good. Even if you don't have braces, I just have one just in case. If things get in your teeth. Next thing I would recommend if you wear makeup is Q-tips. I don't bring any makeup to school, surprisingly, besides lipstick. I don't know. I feel like I don't really have to touch up. I have pretty normal skin, so I don't normally get oily throughout the day. If you do, I would recommend some blotting sheets. But the one thing I find myself needing is Q-tips. I used to wear winged liner to school, and sometimes, you know, it smudges. So just a Q-tip to clean it up. Sometimes your mascara smudges or gets on your lid. So just Q-tips, they're a must. Hand sanitizer, because you gotta sanitize them hands from the crusty people and germs in your school. Here I have a mirror and a brush in one and it's pretty much self-explanatory. I know this came in handy that day I wore a bun to school and I didn't have extra bobby pins and I had to redo the whole bun. So having a brush was really handy and a mirror, self-explanatory, it's also bomb. And I love having a mirror in my locker as well. I also love having lotion because sometimes your legs are ashy or your arms are ashy and you don't have time to put lotion on and you know, lotion. This is kind of random, but I also recommend an extra pen because sometimes, you know, you just lose all your supplies and you don't want to be that person to ask other people for pens and pencils. Also, this I would recommend either to keep in your locker or keep in your backpack. I know the worst feeling in the world is when you forget your headphones in the morning. I've done that so many times and I just sit there in silence and I need music to wake me up and just blast into my ear and give me good energy, good vibes. So I just like having some extra headphones on hand just in case. Now the one thing that I don't have to show you guys is a mini bottle of aerosol hairspray. Now. Oh my god, I need to redo like a life hacks video that I did in the past before. I've said this in so many essentials videos, but make sure it's an aerosol can and a mini can and I have to run out and get myself a new one because I've used it so much. First of all, if you put your hair up and you need hairspray, that's obviously a great thing to have. Also to tame down any baby hairs, but it also works as if you spill stuff on your pants. I like being risky and wearing white jeans. I love white jeans. And actually an incident happened last year in gym. I wore white jeans and within one period, I had gym second period, but second period, shout out to this girl in my grade. She came through, she told me I had some stuff on my white jeans. And I love when people tell you you have lipstick on your teeth or anything like that. But anyway, that's besides the point. So I took my little aerosol hairspray, sprayed it 
directly on the stain and rubbed it with some paper towel from the bathroom and boom the stain came right out and that stuff works magic I used the big sexy hair aerosol spray can actually when I went to a Justin Timberlake concert some lady taught me this tip because I also had some stuff on my white jeans you'd think I never wear white jeans again but I can't resist so honestly I would pick that over like a bleach pen or something just hairspray two in one and lastly here's my little Vera Bradley like wallet thing that I like bringing to school I would recommend to have like five dollars extra cash on you because it's the worst when you run out of lunch money or sometimes maybe you forgot your water at home and you need water again you don't want to be that person to ask other people for money so it's always good to just have a spare five dollars on hand that is it for my back to school emergency essentials kit. This is everything I think you will need to survive your school year. Keep it anywhere you like and anywhere you feel comfortable. I personally just like having it in my purse because I don't want to run to my car, which I don't even think I'm allowed to do, or run to my locker. Sometimes people won't let you go to your locker no matter how big of an emergency it is. I like just having it in my purse on hand at all times and it just makes me very sane that I have certain things. And sometimes maybe your friend needs something and it's like, girl, whip out your emergency kit, I got you. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you make your own emergency kit. Maybe tweet me a pic, snap me a pic, insult me a pic, anything you would like. I would absolutely love to see. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Love you. Mwah.